Hi guys, it's Chanel Marie. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. This feels so weird, but today I'm going to be sharing with you my Leatherology collection. Leatherology specializes in kind of really high quality, semi-customizable leather goods, and I personally love them for kind of travel accessories and then SLGs. I have quite a few pieces that I've collected over the years, which I'm going to share with you. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the brand. So if you're interested in learning more about Leatherology, and you should be because they're amazing, stick around. Okay, so first of all, I haven't filmed a video in a long time, and this feels weird, but I'm super excited to be doing it. I'm missing nail polish on this finger, don't be alarmed. If one of my nails chip, I just like, it's a wrap. I'm gonna like peel it all off, it's inevitable. So again, don't be alarmed. I'm also trying a new audio thing, hopefully it works out, but if you notice any kind of oddities with the audio, um, bear with me i'm working on it okay so on to the content of the video leatherology i discovered leatherology several years ago i was looking for kind of a leather cosmetics case to match a handbag that i had it had to be burgundy leather and i was like browsing the internet searching and i came across this company called leatherology that had the perfect burgundy leather that i was looking for purchased the piece and it's kind of been snowballing ever since in terms of my relationship with them. So as I mentioned in the intro, Leatherology does kind of semi-customizable, really high quality leather goods. And when I talk about kind of semi-customizable, that comes down to, you know, your ability to kind of emboss, monogram um, your pieces with your initials, um, kind of any letters that you want, uh, symbols, things of that nature. There are several options for this. So I personally always go with the deboss, which is kind of imprinting my initials in the leather. They do something called trapunto, which is kind of an embossed um, initial and it's kind of stitched in really pretty. I don't have anything um, with trapunto on it, but I'll put an image up here. They also do um, painted letters, which is really cute. <sighs> there are so many options. I haven't decided <laughs> like what colors I would want to paint and I always just go with the deboss, but I'm definitely eventually going to get a painted piece because this is like really bomb, really beautiful. So I think the initials is where, again, the kind of semi-customizable thing comes in. Also, their huge variety of colors allows you to build kind of a collection all your own. Like if you are a fan of yellow, you can build a collection of yellow kind of leather goods with your initials or your personalization on each piece. And it's really cool. So I'm kind of low key. So my stuff is not that like woo in your face, but you're gonna kind of see how I've chosen to customize my pieces. So getting down to business, I'm going to start with small leather goods. Um, I have quite a few, few of those, and then I'm going to move on to my larger travel pieces, duffel bags, backpacks, things like that. Um, I'll kind of show you how the goods come packaged. Um, and yeah, just all the, the details of the Leatherology brand. So I guess, you know, SLGs typically, you know, people buy a lot of SLGs from luxury houses. I personally do not because these are like, high utility pieces, right? I'm using them a lot, I'm touching them a lot, I am <laughs> dropping them in bags, I'm putting them like in my car and they're flying all over the place. They're getting water on them. Like, because I use them so heavily, I don't wanna spend a ton of money on SLGs. I want something that is beautiful, that is stylish, but also is very functional and that I can replace in a few years without feeling too guilty about you know what I spent on it to begin with. Uh, when it comes to handbags, all I really care about is style, if it's pretty, and trendy and cute, I'm gonna get it. Um, with SLGs, I put a little bit more thought into you know exactly how I'm gonna be using them to make sure that I'm spending the right of money, right amount of money for you know the expected life that I, I get out of the item. So with that being said, let's get started. I'll get with one or start with one in a box so you can see how their SLGs come packaged. All of the SLGs come in this kind of hard brown metallic box with the Leatherology kind of. Um, logo name kind of embossed at the bottom and it's a really nice presentation i think when i open this up it feels like i'm opening up something luxury if i give this as a gift i think people are always excited to open it when you open there is kind of this really nice dust cloth on the inside that wraps the piece you unwrap and here is your item so this item I actually included in my uh, 2021 birthday haul. I was born in January, so that went up maybe a couple months ago. It is a laptop case, and this is in cognac brown leather. All of my collection is in this color just because I love it. Um, I'm always going to love it, <laughs> and so I figured if I'm going to buy a collection, it might as well be in like a timeless color for me. 
Um, also on all my pieces, I have debossed my initials in gold. Uh, and so that's pretty much how all of my items are going to look. I'm going to talk you through a few features of kind of leatherology pieces in general, um, using this as an example, but I won't go into so much detail on all the other pieces. So yeah, generally the leather is smooth, so it's not really grained or pebbled in a significant way. I mean, there's a little bit because it's leather, but it's pretty smooth. They do offer some really premium leathers that are more pebbled, have a little bit more character in terms of the texture, but for the most part, you're going to get a really nice smooth leather. I personally like that. It's very durable. It's not necessarily prone to scratching or damage in any way, um, just durable and awesome. In terms of zippers, I've seen two zippers. So this one has kind of this plastic zipper on it. I've also seen a silver zipper which you'll see on some of my other pieces. They don't seem to be that consistent about where they put silver versus plastic. It's not like all the travel has silver and all the tech has plastic or anything like that, but you're going to get kind of one of two zipper options, both of which are quite good. On the inside, um, tech accessories tend to have kind of this microfiber lining. Um, some of my other pieces have a twill lining, but that's pretty much what you're going to get, either microfiber or twill. Um, there's going to be kind of a nameplate in the back. But as you can see, there's no real branding. It's really about what you choose to put on the item, which can be your initials, again, a peace sign, a butterfly, whatever you want to put on there. <laughs> um, and again, it's all about personalizing it and making it something that speaks to you as a person. So this is a laptop holder. Um, I talked about this kind of in detail in my birthday haul, so I won't go into it here, but this is my first piece. Okay. So moving on to next piece, we'll go with this jewelry case. So when I travel, I'm always losing jewelry. Uh, I put it like on a doorknob or somewhere in the bathroom or whatever and end up leaving it behind. And it has never been that big of a deal because, you know, it's only recently that I started purchasing really high end, high cost jewelry. But now that I am, you know, the idea of leaving one of those pieces behind in a hotel room, <laughs> like it's the stuff of nightmares. So I figured I wanted to purchase like a little case for my jewelry so that it had a home when I'm traveling. Um, I can put it where it belongs and that will lessen the chances of me losing anything. So I picked up this little case, again, cognac brown. This one actually has a silver zipper. So maybe I was wrong and all the SLGs don't have the plastic. I don't know. This one has silver. Um, and it's just open on the inside. So they do have versions with kind of a ring kind of holder here in the middle. They have options with watch holders. For me, I wanted something with an open interior just so I could put any kind of pieces of jewelry that I wanted. If there's a ring holder in the middle, you know, you can't necessarily put a chunky bracelet or any other large pieces in. Um, and I just wanted maximum flexibility. So it has kind of a suede interior um, and it's just open, but it did come with these uh, small suede pouches. It came with one and I purchased an additional two. And the way that I intend to use these is just by putting one piece in each pouch. Um, by doing that, I prevent tangling up of like necklace chains, scratching of metals and, and things like that. So that's how I intend to use these. You can purchase these kind of as many as you want from Leatherology. Um, and kind of just fit them in here and have that be your go-to travel kind of jewelry case. I really like this. It's hard-sided so I can pack it in my suitcase and not have to worry about anything getting smushed, damaged, destroyed. Very cool, very good piece. Um, let's see what's next. Travel again, sunglass case. So if I'm honest, I generally don't carry around sunglass cases like day to day. If I'm like going shopping or whatever, I just put them on my head. I put them in my shirt like you know, whatever. But when I'm traveling, I do like to have a sunglass case. And I really like this one because it is huge inside. So right now I have one pair of sunglasses in here um, and there's still plenty of space for another. So I can fit two pairs of sunglasses. I can fit a pair of sunglasses and my eyeglasses if I need to, like whatever I need. Two pairs can fit in here and I love that for travel purposes, the ability to just put everything where I need it to go. So huge fan of this. It's pretty rigid, um, so I often put this in my suitcase and I don't have a problem with like smushing my sunglasses or anything, so another good one. This guy is a coin holder. I don't really understand how coin holders are still a thing because nobody's carrying around coins like that, but I actually use this to carry earphones. I still have wired earphones, okay? I don't, 
I'm not a technology person. I don't care to have like the newest, latest thing. I just need something functional. So I still have wired headphones and I find it really convenient to kind of wrap them up and just store them in here and have this be their home. Um, I think if you have like AirPods or whatever and you don't have a cute case, this is like a nice option or a good way to use a coin purse um, from any kind of collection that you have. It's really good for like wires, tech accessories and things of that nature. So that's how I use mine from Weatherology. Okay, next up is a key holder. And key holders to me, if you have luxury handbags, you need to have a key holder because God forbid you throw a bunch of like loose keys into your bag and they scratch up the interior, like you've just kind of decreased the value of what was a valuable asset. So I'm a huge fan of key holders, but as far as I know, Louis Vuitton is the only luxury house that does them. Um, I use this probably more than anything else because if I'm leaving the house, it's coming with me. It has six rings on the inside. Um, I have my house key, a bunch of like, you know, retail taggy things. And normally down here is my key fob. It's just kind of in my bag right now, but it has the clip so you can kind of hand it off to a valet or do whatever you need to do with it. Um, I find this to be really convenient. Uh, I like that it's going to protect my bag from my keys and it's also just very chic you know if i happen to just be carrying my keys and cell phone into a restaurant or whatever it's always like such a statement to put something like this down uh instead of you know the traditional kind of like bunch of keys it's a real statement this i've had for years it still looks great my deboss is kind of wearing off a little bit but again it's been years and I highly recommend key holders from Leatherology if you are a luxury handbag owner. You know, if you want to buy one from Louis Vuitton, fine. But if that's not your thing, this is an excellent alternative. And as I mentioned at the top of the video, tons of colors to choose from. Like, they're so reasonably priced, you could get like four different colors to match your handbags and probably still spend less than you would on a Louis Vuitton key holder. So highly recommend this guy. Love it. Wallet. So my wallets have gotten progressively smaller over the years um, and that directly aligns with the trend of, you know, mini bags or smaller bags. I got this to replace kind of a traditional long wallet and I probably will never go back to a long wallet because I just don't need that space. This doesn't have kind of like a money pocket or anything at the top. It's just a series of card slots on the inside. That being said, I can fit cash into the back of any of these slots if I want to. Um, and yeah, I think this is really, you know, really useful. I like it. That being said, I have kind of gone beyond even this small wallet and I actually generally just use a card holder now. And this is my card holder from Weatherology. <laughs> it is basically my wallet. I put my insurance card, my ID, my debit card, everything is in here. I kind of carry some cash in the middle if I want to. And yeah, this is basically my wallet. So. Again, if you are a person that like likes card holders, wants to have a million different colors and a million different styles, like Leatherology is a good option because you can really build a huge collection, a rainbow of colors um, for a relatively low price. I don't know what is going on outside. My neighbor has like this antique truck and I think he's working on it right now. So if you hear some noise from that, sorry, <laughs> it's not my fault. Next up, okay, so this is not at all practical, okay, it's not at all practical. It is a pencil holder, pen holder, whatever you want to call it. Is it necessary? No. Is it ridiculous? Yes. Do I love it? Yes. And I think I have this for the same reason that I have the key holder. Like, I'm always so nervous about throwing like ink pens, water bottles, anything that could damage the inside of my bag just into the bag directly without a little added protection. So for me, be able to put like my pens and markers in here and put them in my bag this again makes me more comfortable carrying those things around and lowers the risk that you know an ink spill or something like that is going to damage the interior of my handbag so this one is the smaller version they do have a longer version of the pencil like pen case um, it's almost like this but a little bit longer and this was just too big like the version that looked more like this was a little bit too big for me i didn't have that many pens and pencils that i need to carry around um, so I got this one, but as you can see, it doesn't fit much. I have two Sharpies and two pens, and that is all you're going to get in here. So if the type of person that's always losing your pens and pencils and needs to have like 20 at a time, get the bigger one. But if you want just kind of a cute little chic statement piece that's going to protect your bag from pens and pencils, this is a good option. Okay, I think that might be it for small leather goods. So 
Actually, no, there's one more. Pause, pause, gotta get it. Okay, so this last one is actually a backup to my working piece. So this is a lanyard for like work. Um, like I said, this is a backup. I actually have one, it's like in my room and has my actual work ID in it already. I just forgot to grab it for this video. But my old job, um, the kind of company logo, the color was orange. And they gave us all these like orange and white lanyards to wear around the office. And orange, it's a difficult color to work with, right? Like, not that my lanyard has to match my outfit, but I just hated sometimes seeing that clash of orange with the other things I was wearing. In addition, everyone in my office had the exact same lanyard, and I just felt like it's weird. I don't wanna be wearing what everyone else is wearing. So I ended up picking this up. Um, it has a few slots in the back so I can carry my debit card, you know, whatever, uh, throughout the day. And it's quite convenient, quite cute. I've gotten several compliments. Several people have asked me where I've gotten these from. So yeah, if you're looking to kind of have a more chic um, lanyard that's gonna match you a little bit better and not quite be so clashy with your outfits and blendy with everyone else in the office, good option, good option. Love mine so much, I've used it so much that I do have this backup um, for my other one just can no longer be used. Okay, on to travel pieces. So I will start with, I guess, the biggest one, also included in my birthday haul, and this is the duffel bag from Weatherology. I looked at this for a really long time before I got it, um, and I'm so glad I did because it's beautiful. Like, look at it. It's, it's stunning. Uh, I feel like so many times we see duffel bags that are kind of like this nylon, sporty material, we see the canvas keep balls from Louis Vuitton, but very rarely do you see it's a really high quality leather duffel bag. It's a rare sight, and I feel like I'm a part of a very special club that owns, you know, a bomb ass leather duffel bag. I love it. Um, as I mentioned in my birthday haul video, I got this for kind of like car travel. I would never take this to an airport. Um, or anything like that, but if you're going somewhere for a weekend, um, it's perfect. It's gonna fit everything you need. It's really cute. You're gonna walk into the hotel looking like a boss. Love this guy. It has a strap that I don't have on it right now, and it's kind of stuffed because I like it to keep its shape, but it has a few pockets. Its interior has um, kind of a twill sort of lining, and all in all, it's a good piece. I really like this one. Haven't used it a ton given the current circumstances, but you know, as things get back to normal, I'm really excited to be using this more. Um, it's great. In terms of how it came packaged, so as I mentioned, the larger travel pieces don't come in like that nice box that I showed earlier on. Instead, they just come packaged kind of in a large cardboard box, but they do come with dust bags. So this is the one for the duffel bag. I'm um, just large, white, embossed with the Leatherology logo. Um, the strap is in here, haven't used it yet, but yeah, these do come with dust bags so that you can protect your larger items while storing them. Next up, backpack. So, actually, we talk about the other piece first. Next up, <laughs> laptop case. So, I bought this um, because, again, at my old job, they had given us all laptop cases to match our laptops. Um, and everyone in the company had the same bag. I used that bag that the company gave me for several months, but it started to look kind of ratty. It was kind of getting torn up. And again, I didn't like having something that every single other person in the company had. So I ended up getting this uh, as a replacement and I use this to death, okay? So I think it's called the Knox Slim Laptop Holder. I think it'll be linked in the description box below. But as you can see, it's really thin, really chic, just like a really nice way to carry around your laptop, work documents, things like that. Um, it has a pocket in the front with several smaller pockets for accessories, whatever you need. And then on the interior, it has kind of a microfiber lining, as is the case with most tech accessories from Weatherology, and kind of a separate pocket back here for the laptop. Um, I use this for a while. I use this for a while, and I put this big scratch across it. Like, I definitely got my wear out of this. But as you can see, it is really thin, and I am a bit of a pack rat. Like, I have my laptop, but I also have a ton of contracts and a couple of notebooks going and 
I just had so much stuff in here at once that I wasn't able to zip it up. I would be walking around with like papers like poofing out of it and it just was not a good look. It kind of, yeah, defeated my purposes and trying to look chic and put together. I just look like a disorganized bag lady. So I ended up setting this aside for something with a little bit more room. And that was this backpack. So, you know, I think for a long time I resisted the idea of the backpack. Even in high school and college, I had like a messenger bag just because ugh, backpacks are so, you know, they're not ladylike, whatever. But I've changed my mind and this is actually what I use daily for work and school right now. Um, so, yeah, it has kind of an open pocket in the front as most backpacks do. Compartment here for whatever you need. I have like a work notebook in there right now and then a back compartment for the laptop um, I use this for like I said Work. I'm also a part-time student. So I use it for school if I'm traveling. This is my carry-on I use this thing all the time. Okay. I've had it for years. I've worn it hard and it still looks great Leatherology products are very high quality. The leather is high quality. It's meant to be used. So I don't baby this at all. I don't, you know, pay particular attention to it at all, but it still looks great. And it's a statement like, you know, I'm in the airport, I'm pulling out my headphones, you know, having this case in here and pulling it out. It's just such a nice look. You know, I am at a work meeting and I'm pulling out my laptop and I pull it out of my backpack in this case and then pull it out of the case. It just presents a very well organized appearance, um, a very, you know, attention to detail oriented appearance. I don't know. I like it. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but just having a matching set, I think just levels up the game. I love it. I love the idea. Love everything about it. So yeah, last piece was backpack. So that is it for leatherology guys. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of pieces from them and I think I'll continue to buy new pieces because everything that I bought from them has been amazing. Every piece that I've gotten has, you know, been durable, high quality, absolutely lovely. So if you're a person that's interested in small leather goods, travel accessories, I would highly, highly, highly recommend them. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. As I said, I'm a little out of practice. I haven't filmed a video in a couple of weeks, but really excited to be able to share or have been able to share my leatherology collection with you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please do like, subscribe. If there's anything that you want to know, anything that you want to say, please leave a comment down below. And until next time, bye guys. <laughs>